Yes, we are live now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our webinar. Thank you all for joining. My name is Elena Grinuk, and I'm Central uh, Eastern Europe uh, Regional Manager at the SME Banking Club, and I will be your host today. And today we will talk about mobile security and how securing a mobile application can improve customer experience and increase customer satisfaction. And I'm glad to be joined today by Václav Madenka, mobile ID product owner at Monet Plus, company from Czech Republic. Hello, Václav, and welcome. Hello, hello, everyone. So before we start and go to the topic, let me shortly mention some organizational moments. So our webinar is scheduled for 35 minutes. We are recording this webinar, so right after we finish, you will receive the link to the video and the presentations. And uh, in the end of the webinar, we're going to have time for a question. So please type your questions into the chat. So uh, let's go to the topic. And Václav, I'm passing uh, a word to you at once. OK, so thanks, thanks for the opportunity to, to be with you today. Uh, uh, um, I'm, I'd like to walk you through some of the experience uh, that we gained over the years uh, designing, developing solutions for authentication. I mean, uh, for the past seven years, um, I'm, I'm working on the client authentication topic, especially focusing and enabling companies to uh, to utilize mobile devices uh, to be the the main interaction channel for for their business. And talking specifically uh, about banking, I mean. Uh, we are here today uh, to maybe uh, discuss three main po points or, 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 or the, the, uh, the overall topics. I mean, the one is uh, due to the uh, area we are just now, it's, it's essentially important to enable trusted online services. I mean, to enable online uh, interaction with our customers. So that's topic number one. Topic number two uh, is the mobile devices that are being with us every day in our uh, in our life. And I mean, these mobile devices are becoming the primary uh, interaction devices. And uh, the third point that is impacting uh, the uh, the today session is around strong customer authentication and all that the company, the banks, had to implement uh, strong customer authentication for all the online services, the, the online payments, and uh, the, uh, let's say, challenges and the opportunities that come with open banking. So I think this is, this is something we would like to briefly walk through today. I mean, I much appreciate your feedback. I, I don't want to only, uh, uh, let's say, uh, presenting our view on the on the on the situation. So please feel free to uh, to post your comments and questions uh, to the chat, so we can discuss it. Uh, I would much appreciate your your view on this. Uh, so maybe if I have a look on the not too much on the technology, but for the for a, for the client perspective, the client needs and expectations. I think with the mobile devices, we really see something that 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 is changing in life. And uh, I have summarized it to the six main points. I, I think the one is it's easy easy to access, easy to access the service, easy to do a payment. Uh, all you need to do is open your mobile phone. The second thing is with the mobile devices, and we can we, we do have a number of applications. They provide a number of services within our one device, and one device can really open a whole world for us. So I think it's essentially important that all that we have within our mobile application is to maintain all the data and all the communication secure. So that's something we're focusing on. We also recognize that from the uh, client perspective, it's, it's essentially important to approach it very similarly uh, the both. Uh, it's either mobile, it's either web portal. The All, all of these main uh, online channels need to have the similar approach to security and needs to be consistent for the users. So I think this is very important. Uh, yeah, I mean, instant access, that's that's something that comes, the, the world is uh, around us is, is getting quicker. So instant access, even with the mobile devices is, is very important. And and what I already mentioned, the multipurpose of the devices, that's, that's we already, already have. And time to time, we all have the mobile application, mobile devices online, but so 
in some cases we still uh, need to be kind of offline. Uh, we have to, but still needs to enable some of the operations even being offline. So what I maybe would like to share a bit uh, uh, with you is the, is the experience on, on the mobile security uh, solutions and how maybe turn the, the mobile security to maybe an opportunity uh, 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 of having a client identity as a product and how the client identity can, can open uh, you new, new business opportunities. So maybe just a quick little reviewing of what, what we are doing in terms of mobile applications uh, and uh, how, how four areas we see and, and how we approach it. Uh, uh, we can recognize, uh, divide it in four, four, four areas. The one is uh, to ensure uh, some kind of uh, secure communications. There is some kind of what we call the user or device enrollment. It's something on the beginning with your, with your online, online, online life. Is, is, is to make sure that uh, between the bank or between the institution and between the customer is, is set kind of uh, trusted relationship and the device that, that, they, that we use is kind of uh, considering as secure enough. I mean, once we do have it, we, we do have the secure link between the user and the, and, and the bank, uh, we can enable number of services that, that can, can uh, bring uh, personalized content to the mobile device. We can deliver uh, uh, identity services to open, to use the mobile devices as a key to 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 number of mobile services. And if we do that uh, for opening the online services, we can essentially do the uh, the mobile mobile as a key, not only to access the online services, but also to authorize transactions, payments, uh, requests, uh, perform stuff like electronic signature, all the stuff that we can we can pretty much combine with the with the uh, with the uh, mobile device. Uh, so we'll let's speak about some of the examples uh, as well. And maybe the last but not least point is we, we see very important is mobile app uh, security and its ability to self-protect against threats and 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 risk that are, are around in the cyber cyberspace around us. So if I just do a quick look on the on the on the user device and enrollment, which is essentially some every every uh, application needs to do, and specifically that we uh, having the uh, for banking sector that we have the the impact of the uh, on the PSD two on the strong customer authentication. This is one essential step that we need to do. Uh, and essentially to ensure that encrypted communication between the mobile and the com organization, the backend systems uh, are set up to, uh, to uh, maintain the trust. Uh, by doing this, we can also enable a number of scenario uh, use cases that, that we can protect that, are, that the data are stored within the, within the mobile device. So that's, that's very important. Uh, from our side, we have uh, the, the, there are number number of scenarios that that that, that can support that, uh, uh, but I think especially for the banks is is to to uh, maintain their compliance and, and maintain the security at least uh, to match the uh, PSD two requirements to PSD two requirements on on the too far two-factor authentication on, on the secure communication and, and stuff like that. So I think what we believe that the mobile device could essentially be a one key to all of your applications to online uh, applications that are using that are used within by the bank. So it's 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 both it's internet banking, it's your mobile banking, but it's also all the third-party applications, uh, your, your fintech uh, fintech partners that, that, that are in, uh, accelerating your, your services and even uh, e even payments that, that are initiated on the on the, uh, on the for example uh, uh, card processing provider so just few of the examples uh, here I mean it's it's really using essential security tools that that help the customers to 
use the mobile app as a primary interaction device with the client because all we have is the is the mobile devices that are with us every every day. So I think it's it's from the from the uh, user perspective and the client perception is is very important. And the second thing is uh, next to the standard web portals and applications. Uh, all the mobile devices can help us to open new interaction channels because they provide much more functionality and contextual information comparing to the to the web applications so this is very important uh, from what we see in terms of of mobile applications being being in place in the uh, user interaction uh, so once we have it and we, we we see that uh, by enabling the essential trust between the device and the, and, and, and the organization and the user, we can pretty much uh, deliver services and open uh, uh, use cases that, that are tied to uh, identity proofing and personalization. So I think uh, all the scenarios that, that require, require authentication of the user uh, that, that require protected access to specific data and trans transaction, all the stuff. Uh, with a mobile device, we can not only use the passcode, we can use the simple gestures, uh, biometrics, uh, number of, of the additional authentication uh, information that are, that are avail available on the, on the mobile, mobile device. So by one click, authenticating the user uh, with a with a touch ID, for example, it's making the process very convenient and very secure. Also, having the device enrolled uh, to the ecosystem, we can uh, uh, provide to the user personalized content because we know who the user is. We 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 do have push notification services uh, that can can bring some additional content uh, to the to the user. And uh, this could not only be information about new transaction, this could also be uh, irregular uh, information from banks that, from bank that, that are coming to the, to the client, as well as information about new products, new services, uh, some kind of, of uh, uh, this type of information. Uh, so one of the examples uh, that, 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 uh, that I have uh, put in here is, is maybe to compare how the uh, login process to to, uh, to your internet banking application could look like uh, the standard way and with, with the mobile mobile ID or mobile key. I think on the left side you can see that uh, there is a, a standard uh, uh, login procedure for for user that uh, is map, map, matching mapping to the PSD2 requirements. So I'm, I'm inserting a username. I'm, I'm putting something that is helping uh, preventing preventing user enumeration. Uh, that I identify myself by password, and then I inserting or confirming the the login by a second factor. I mean, we can pretty much make that process much more user convenient and maybe even much more secure but combining the opportunities that we have on the mobile devices and we have the on the front end because we can si simply uh, open a, a front end application that is showing an, an, an QR code to help you access you open your mobile applications and the QR code uh, use your touch ID and you are in uh, within the application. Having that implemented with some security uh, features in the background that are pretty much not visible to the customer, you can very, very easily uh, deliver to the client simple solution that is even compliant to the, to the PSD2 requirements and the strong customer authentication, which I believe is, is very important and relevant to, to, to all of us. And apart from that, and I use the website as an example, but the QR code, we have a number of devices that, that, that can use, uh, that can show a, a QR code, uh, even could be a static QR code. So we can use this in, in many, many other uh, use cases. And, and 
even uh, with the shared economy, I believe this is this is very very interesting. And new new models and new opportunities coming into place. I mean, we have just now having a, a pilot project that we uh, that we are piloting also near file communication uh, uh, between devices. So, for example, or it could be uh, opening your your PC um, by by using your mobile phone, but any other any other devices uh, like cars, like offices, th this this is opening uh, essentially number of new new models and new scenarios. Uh, so mobile as a key, I think that's for us something that we believe uh, makes sense to invest in and help us to to uh, to deliver and design new new models and new opportunities for the for the uh, mobile as a, as a token, because all we need to do is, is authenticate, to secure the authenticate mobiles that we have with us. We don't need to distribute an extra hardware. And uh, by essentially designing and delivering a mobile key that is that is open to all of the types of the, of the application, the scenarios, it's about financial transfer, it's 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 uh, about authorization it's also non-financial transactions we can all of these combine into into uh one one application yeah uh, just one of the examples i mean uh the world around us is very complex and 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 uh, diverse, uh, diverse. Um, and there is number of applications that we use every day. And uh, you as a bank, uh, you as a company, if essentially maybe number of even number of applications that are delivered to the clients that, that you use internally. There are coming uh, third-party applications, uh, not only PSD two applications, but uh, uh, relevant applications uh, that maybe you have some strategic partnerships with 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 other other companies to to let's say uh, combine and cross sell uh, opportunities. So I think uh, uh, all of this is very important in the today's world, and uh, uh, our solution is not tied to the to the mobile uh, as it. Although uh, the mobile mobile identity is very important, we. we uh we see very important that we we should be able to combine and integrate all the applications around us by a standardized mean and and identity federation concepts are being something that are helping us essentially to connect number of these applications and and number of these scenarios within one device and therefore enable uh, additional opportunities uh, so having a look on this, this this is all tied to to but not only to the open banking uh, uh, open banking products that 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 you are uh, probably designing yourself or maybe designing with with some of the fintech partners you may have, uh, but only that way that that you also have have some of the partners uh, within 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 your uh, day to day life that that are helping you with with some of the new port, new opportunities yeah another example could be also logistic and deliveries i mean to verify identity mobile to mobile uh, to uh, do all the all the quick checks uh, are you the person that that is being uh, that should be delivered with this particular particular uh, package so uh, really, number of number of opportunities. Uh, I put a few of them to this presentation. I don't want to talk about all of them because it would take some time. But but you probably have some idea about about something else. So please feel free to share uh, within the comments. Uh, 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 we can discuss it uh, uh, how how to how to probably approach this specific scenario. And one thing I wanted to mention is also about mobile application protection because mobile applications are, are very distributed ecosystems. We do have Android, we do have iOS, but there is plenty of, uh, especially for Android, there is plenty of uh, vendors, number, uh, big number of, of vendors that that are 
uh, uh, let's say, designing, developing their own flavors of Android software. So uh, really to making sure that, that all of the applications that are distributed between thousands, millions of users uh, uh, around the uh, country and region is uh, secure enough to, uh, to provide a reasonable uh, level of certainty. So we have been also uh, helping clients with with some what, what we call uh, a self application protection flame framework and security monitoring, which is essentially helping the, the mobile applications to self protect against uh, against uh, some of the uh, uh, cyber potential cyber attacks and potential misuse of, of, of weaknesses of the mobile devices. And to the organization, on the, on the other hand, we provide uh, security monitoring that is kind of uh, enabling uh, uh, gaining an anonymous data from the, from the distributed ecosystem to get their perception of how their applications are being treated. Is there anyone trying to attack them, trying to misuse them, and uh, maybe try to, to do something uh something that it's not really uh wanted to be in in the applications i mean some of the examples of what we see on the mobile applications there's number of threats uh that we've seen in in, in past past months and years uh so all of these are re relevant to any of the applications uh, uh Someone to trying to uh, inter uh, in interfere the communication between the mobile application and the organization, uh, kind of men in the middle attacks. Also, some of the uh, hackers trying to uh, let's say uh, decode the applications, try to get into it and try to understand uh, how it's work and whether there are any weaknesses. Uh, whether or not uh, these applications are being used on the on the rooted jailbreak devices, I mean, all of these all of these are very re relevant. I mean, for example, in banking overlay attacks are very sensitive and very di difficult to to uh, to capture. So, so this one uh, it's very good to to be uh, prepared upfront. Uh, yeah. So just just bear for me, bear in mind that this is a distributed word and and uh, it's better be better be prepared and uh, if you are unsure, uh, we can have a discussion uh, of what what your application look like maybe. Uh, I mean, we we are focusing it on on this area for a number of years. And I think it's it's a long, long, long process that, that can bring us to this point that we are today. But it cannot be so for us for opening new new implementation. I think it's uh, before if if you considering uh, maybe not using in all of the scenarios the standardized uh authentication methods uh, or the or the legacy ones maybe uh, that you already have and considering the mobile devices it's it's good to consider at the beginning to how how you want to to use it i mean the simple question would be at the beginning do i have already a mobile application and does it make sense for me to to have one application because i, I don't want use many of them or it's maybe easier for me to have a dedicated mobile application that is that is the authentication device because I do have more portals, I do have uh, more more maybe even more uh, mobile applications. So really to have the uh, have this phase on the beginning uh, that is good to consider uh, how I'm going to use it and maybe maybe to think about the processes as well because. It's impacting. It's impacting at the end the clients, and 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 uh, this is good time to take on the beginning. I mean, just implementing the technology uh, for one selected application for one dedicated use case uh, could be a pretty uh, straightforward activity, and it's good to pilot it on on only one channel uh, with one application because 
uh, even if, if, if for your clients and for you, this is something new, uh, it's good to, to not only to train up the personal and to have the, uh, let's say, operational uh, experience, but also uh, to have the underlying marketing communication. Once you have piloted, uh, uh, it's it's worth to utilize it. I mean, it's really to replace the the uh, current legacy uh, costly authentication methods uh, that are based or our SMS maybe not so not so secure, uh, quite costly maybe on some on some hardware uh, and that that you need to distribute to the to the, to the clients. And once you have rolled it to to number of uh, applications, it's worth to to considering that how to utilize it, how to get the the benefits because you are investing in in your in your security technology, and this this could bring also some some value to to this. And we've seen some interesting cases uh, that we've been uh, so uh, it's I, I think there are number number of of open opportunities. Um, what I wanted to just share with you is, is some of the some of the uh, UI and processes that that the, the mobile uh, uh, application and mobile token could look like, uh, uh, and this could also be a let's say starting point for for your new mobile banking applications because all all you need is already within within the mobile token that we have it's it's from the from the from the initial registration and user enrollment to all the transactions and the information messages that that the application needs to receive the authentication using biometrics the bi push notifications that can bring uh, some interactivity to the uh, to the client and also to let's say uh, score the mobile application, the user security context. Uh, this could be very visible and transparent to the to the client to help them. Uh, let's see, guys, you have you have some some weaknesses here, so you better have a look on that. Or it's help only for you, uh, uh, fraud management system to to kind of work with this with this data. So that's that's something that can work in the background. Uh, I mean, one of the examples uh, uh, how the application, for example, look like today. Uh, if if you would probably consider uh, to use the mobile application that 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 we're delivering with, it's it's very easy to uh, to uh, let's say align it with with your with your identity. Uh, but you maybe all maybe already have a mobile application that would only uh, improve the the overall security concept of the application. So SDK is is always an option for for all of the uh, all of the scenarios. So maybe not to talk too much. I mean, what what we uh, what we helping with, the, with how we opening the partnership models and how we how we uh, kind of approach it. Uh, it's it's what I wanted to say is that really uh, we are focusing on the on the on the securing uh, the the ecosystem to enabling the secure interaction between the client and between the bank, uh, enabling the mobile device as being one channel. Uh, doing this for mobile for web applications, we're delivering number of uh, security SDKs or tools for 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 these kind of applications, and together it all kind of build a stack of. Of, of technology and tools that that helping companies uh, to let's say build their own uh, digital identity, and by designing a digital identity, we essentially uh, enabling the companies to focus on their uh, main core business to to enable of what they are good at. I mean, delivering their products, their services to the clients, and uh, so you don't need to really bother about the security because. Uh, this is this is between uh, something we take care of, uh, and also regulatory compliance is something that we see this very important, even especially in in today's world. So uh, you may consider why Monet. Um, I mean, we can help you pretty quickly with some of the out of the box functionality that really works for mobile for web. Uh, we have number of references being. Uh, 
even in banking that that uh, that that that, that uh, is building all the all the relationship, and we really f uh, focus on having partnership business models. We said being a partners for our clients for for companies that that develop the target applications. Uh, as I mentioned, we're really focusing on the uh, on the on the uh, on the uh, security side. So we're not de de delivering, de de developing the the business logic on the online products. That's something we leave to to, the, to our clients or, or to our partners uh, because that's something you are good at. Uh, we we're really focusing on our area, which is the security, and even not uh, visual identity. All of the all of the processes around us. So uh, this is uh, in brief what I wanted to say about maybe mobile authentication. Uh, where do you think uh, there is some some interesting opportunity or? Or uh, another scale, uh, use case for for uh, for uh, use use the mobile mobile authentication. Uh, please let us know between the chat. Uh, um, I much appreciate the opportunity to discuss it. And that's that's simply it from from my side. Uh, so maybe there is something that that comes to your mind. In terms of question, I'm not sure, Olena, if we have any questions. Thank you. Also, yes, we have uh, one at the moment in the chat uh, from Peter. How I can use your solution in delivery or in sharing economy? Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks for thanks for the question. Uh, I, I think uh, it's very very straightforward. I mean, uh, the thing. We, we have designed the technology to being very, uh, let's say, open to to any of the integration uh, uh, that 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 can open between the mobile application and the uh, the the uh, the uh, other like web applications and any any other use cases that that are uh, so. Pretty straightforward. It's only about discussing the the particular uh, use case and and how to simply uh, simply approach it. Mm -hmm. I have uh, so I, I'm encouraging our attendees so we can stay a bit longer uh, to answer your questions. So please type your question into the chat. Meanwhile, I would like to share with you some uh, um, studies, some results of the studies that we did uh, last autumn. Uh, and we do it on an annual basis on the functionalities that are available for SME and business customers in the online and mobile banking. And uh, here, actually, we can see that in Central and uh, Eastern Europe, 50% of the banks last year implemented uh, mobile authorization uh, method. This is concerns uh, the, the authorization of payment which was actually the real uh, big change compared to the 2019. And uh, right uh, before the webinar we launched at our SME Banking Club page in LinkedIn, the, uh, the poll and asking uh, is a mobile token uh, um, implemented already in the, these banks. And actually this correlates to our last year's studies that 50% implemented this already. And the remaining 50% from the remaining 50%, 40% are considering such implementation. So my question, Vaslav, is what is your feeling actually? When do you predict that this will be next year or like in uh, several um, next several years that this will be implemented in the biggest part of the banks here in the region? How do you feel it? Yeah, actually, uh, that's a good question because we've seen a an, an significant increase in the uh, maybe 2019 and 2020, which business been significantly driven by the PSD2, uh, enforcing uh, mm -hmm. companies, especially banks, to implement uh, strong customer authentication. And mobile was one was of the one of the um, let's say uh, uh, best choices. Um, in this year, we have seen a significant slowdown in 2020. This was, uh, uh, for me, was was significantly because of COVID, because all of the uh, topics uh, about pandemic situation that 
obviously we have a uh, more important things to deal with but uh, being at the at the beginning of 2021 i mean we're still in the covid area we have moved number of services to the online business and we've seen that some number of organization have done a uh, significant improve to the to the online channel security but still number of them uh, and it's it's more or less uh, about these 40 40 percent is is not still uh, compliant to the PSD to have some some gaps in the uh, uh, gaps in the uh, protection of the only online channels, and this could uh, uh, even be a more more issue for for next time because more more and more services are getting to the online. So we'll see we'll see how how COVID is impacting our business because. Uh, 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 Always security is important, but there could be um, um, more important topics to deal with. Uh, I would see, uh, I, I expect that there will be some constant changes and, and I believe that the mobile is something that, that is every day with, with us. So I believe that, that there will be more and more use cases for, for the mobiles. So um, mm -hmm. we, 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 we consider it as, as, as one of the core core technology we, we're focusing for for next next uh, decade. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And how fast can banks actually implement mobile token or mobile ID? And what are the prerequisites for the banks? Yeah, uh, it depends. It really depends on the on the banks on the, on the how many how many use cases you want to cover. Uh, and really, from the experience that we have, is is really the, the the less scope you you involve in the beginning, you you probably choose only one applications to really uh, pilot it. Then could be could be uh, could be uh, four to eight weeks to even open the pilot. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, consider that that is impacting your uh, your clients. So uh, having having a, a the preparation phase before to design it, how 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 you are going to uh, uh, to approach the clients, what type of clients, what's the beginning? Uh, it's good to take some time to prepare it. But essentially, the technical implementations, for, for the, the the simple one could be. Uh, uh, few months or one to max three mm -hmm. months. Okay, okay. And uh, what is the alternative for a mobile token, for example, in okay. case uh, if the customer doesn't want to use it or actually what, what we mentioned that both customers prefers and banks are trying to give a customer a choice. So to use, you know, uh, uh, to choose which method of authentication or login uh, to digital channels or customer authentication, payment authentication, they want, they would like to choose. So what is the alternative here? Yeah, very, very good question. Thank you for this. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, we've seen uh, because not uh, not every, every, every uh, everyone do have a smartphone or don't want to use it on simply some of the people don't trust the security uh, on the mobile devices i must say that uh, in the past year it's, it's significantly better than we, what we've seen five years ago mm -hmm. uh, uh, but yeah uh, it's come uh, so there are a number of hardware tokens that that Play this dedicated role. Uh, I mean, uh, in the past, we've seen very, uh, very, uh, very popular OTP tokens, some yeah. little calculator that, that is uh, displaying you a QR code mm -hmm. uh, or um, uh, six, six, yeah. uh, six digit uh, one time password. Uh, I wouldn't uh, too much uh, recommend these as, as the, these provide limited functionality. Uh, and especially for banking, um, I don't see them as really a relevant option. Also, um, matching it to the PSD2 requirements. Mm -hmm. I would rather, uh, or what we are focusing more on is, is, is to utilize, uh, utilize the smart cards. Uh, that could be uh, uh, something that you see with your credit card. It could be combined with your with your credit card. It could be a simple token that that you use with your USB USB port or USB C with your which will with with uh, with your mobile device. So mm -hmm. really, these dedicated mobile uh, not mobile but 
these dedicated harbors are, are option but this comes with some some additional costs because you need to distribute them to the to the, to yeah. the customers yeah yeah okay so i see we do not have uh, questions from the attendees so then we will be closing the webinar. Thank you all for joining and stay into the very end. Thank you very much, Václav, for your contribution. Thank you, thank you, Elena, for the opportunity and everyone to that taking the time and yeah, have a good yeah. day. Yes, thank you, and see you next time online. <laughs> Bye. Bye.